Little West Street kind of started when I became a mother. As a new mother, you're thinking about everything, like this blanket or this pillow or this swaddle or this design. And I just felt like there was a big gap in the market, mainly in terms of high quality. If you really looked at the fine print, we'll say cotton polyester mix or a lot of synthetic fiber. When I read this, I was like, oh, it's not cotton, it's not linen. I wanted 100% natural fabrics. That was disappointing. Secondly, in terms of design, I felt like they were just not aesthetically pleasing. I wanted the designs to be playful. Companies didn't have enough variety. Uh, they were mass produced. And lastly, it was about who made this? Was it ethically made? Did we think of the environment? I just wanted to create a playful design that my son would identify with. So like the first blanket I created was a hanging ABC with pom-pom lace. And another one I created for him was with Kapha animals, like hand-done Kapha animals. So as he grew up, I saw how he identified with this blanket. It had its name on it, or like, oh, there's a giraffe, there's a lion. One thing led to the other, I had like 40 designs made. I went back to India, I started sourcing the materials. We studied fabrics, I learned a lot, you know, with appliques and embroideries and we had some of the samples ready. That's how it sort of started, just purely based on trying to be with my son and uh, finding this little gap in the industry that I felt like maybe I could fill. I can promise you that as you are starting a new life and creating new memories, whatever you buy would be full of you know, happiness and good vibes and as you use it every day, you look at it and it sparks joy.